Let's see one question from Laplace transform. Find the Laplace transform of sine root t. Hence, find Laplace of cos root t divided by 2 root t. So, let's move ahead with this question. Uh, for solving this question, uh, we need to know the expansion of sin x. You can uh, do this expansion with the help of Maclaurin series and it will come out to be x minus x cube divided by 3 factorial plus x power 5 divided by 5 factorial minus x power 7 by 7 factorial and it will move on okay now we need to find for sine root t so sine root t will be root t minus root t cube divided by 3 factorial plus root t power 5 divided by 5 factorial minus root t power 7 divided by 7 factorial and it will move on. Now you know root t is nothing but t power half. So, if I will do root t power n any number, then it will simply be t power half this power n. So, this will be t power n by 2. So, I will use the same and write this as sine root t equals to t power half minus t power 3 by 2 divided by 3 factorial. So, I can write as 6 t power 5 by 2 divided by 5 factorial t power 7 by 2 divided by 7 factorial and so on. Now taking Laplace transform Laplace transform on both sides. If we take Laplace transform on both sides then Laplace of sine root t will be equal to Laplace of t power half minus 1 by 6 can come out. Laplace of t raised to power 3 by 2 plus 1 upon 5 factorial. Laplace of t raised to power 5 by 2 minus 1 upon 7 factorial. Laplace of t raised to power 7 by 2 and it will move on. So, Laplace of sin root t is coming out to be equal to. Now, again, uh, we know that Laplace of t raised to power n is gamma n plus 1 divided by s power n plus 1. Now, uh, you need to remember one thing that we are using this is also equal to n factorial divided by s power n plus 1. But this notation is used, factorial notation is used only if n is an integer. But in this case, you can see n is a fraction. So, we will use this gamma notation. And if you are using gamma notation, we you should know some property that gamma n plus 1 is n gamma n and also gamma of uh, 1 by 2 is root pi. I think this two will do for us. So Laplace of t power half will be gamma n plus 1 that means gamma half plus 1. Divided by s power half plus 1 that is 3 by 2 minus 1 by 6. Laplace of 3 by 2 is gamma 3 by 2 plus 1 divided by s power 3 by 2 plus 1 is 5 by 2 plus 1 upon 5 factorial. Again we will have here gamma 5 by 2 plus 1 divided by uh, we will get s power 7 by 2 minus 1 upon 7 factorial. Here we will get uh, 
सेवन गामा सेवन बाई टू प्लस वन डिवाइडेड बाय एस पावर नाइन बाई टू एंड इट विल मूव सो लप्लास ऑफ साइन रूट टी वी आर गेटिंग एस नाउ गामा एन प्लस वन इज एन गामा एन सो विल राइट दिस एज वन बाई टू गामा वन बाई टू डिवाइडेड बाय एस पावर थ्री बाई टू माइनस वन पॉइंट सिक्स दिस विल बी वन अगेन दिस विल बी गामा थ्री बाई टू एंड थ्री बाई टू विल कम आउट ओके एंड दिस विल गेट डिवाइडेड बाय एस पावर फाइव बाई टू विच वॉज अर्लियर वट थ्री बाई टू प्लस वन वाई आई एम राइटिंग दिस यू विल नो फर्दर प्लस वन अपॉन फाइव फैक्टोरियल आई विल सॉल्व टिल थर्ड टर्म ओनली फॉर द फर्दर क्वेश्चन बिकॉज दे आर लॉट ऑफ लॉट नंबर ऑफ टर्म्स सो वील रेस्ट्रिक्ट आवर सेल्फ टू थ्री टर्म्स ओनली सो दिस विल बी फाइव बाई टू गामा फाइव बाई टू divided by s power 5 by 2 plus 1 and minus this will go on now laplace of sin root t equals to now i already told you that half gamma of half is nothing but root pi so this will be uh, root pi and this two can go down s power uh, sorry s power Three by two. Okay. Now here again, we can write this three by two as one plus one by two. Okay. Uh, like this. This gamma three by two. Gamma of three by two can be written as gamma of one plus one by two, and this will again, this can again be written as one by two gamma one by two. That means one by two into root pi. Okay, so this will give me one by two into root pi, so minus. Uh, what I will do is just simplify this further, so this uh, can cancel this. So one upon four will come down, and this gamma three by two was giving me one by two root pi, so one by two root pi. And this s power three by two plus one. Let it remain as it is, or you can write this as s power three by two into s. Moving to the next term, so one upon five factorial. Again, we we'll, can write this as five by two. Now this is gamma five by two. So gamma five by two can be written as three by two plus one. So this is three by two gamma. Three by two, gamma three by two is one by root two pi. So three by two into one by two root pi. So this is coming out to be three by four root pi. So this on simplification, this five by two gamma is coming out to be three by four root pi. And this we can write as s power five by two into s. And not writing that next uh, other remaining terms. Okay, so if I cancel this out, uh, then uh, if I will have to wait and watch this, uh, anything is getting cancelled. One five will get cancelled because five factorial is one into two into three into four into five. So you will be left with one into two into three into four. Which is four factorial, which is twenty four. Twenty four into two is. Let's simplify this term. Okay, let's move to the next page. I have one upon five factorial, into five by two into three by four. So this I can write as one into two into three into four into five, into five by two into three by four. Can cancel five. I can cancel three. So you are left with eight to the sixteen and four. One upon sixty-four is what you are left with. 
okay and so we move on sine root t is equal to now what i'm do is root pi divided by 2 s power 3 by 2 i will take common throughout so from this term i will get 1 from this term i will get minus sign first 2 denominator i have already taken common so 1 by 4 only will come okay root pi taken common s power 3 by 2 taken common so you are left with 1 by s okay moving to the next term so this on calculation came out to be 1 by 64 isn't it out of this if you take uh, 1 by 2 common so you are left with plus of 1 by 32 okay root pi common s power uh, 5 by 2 plus 1 is 7 by 2 so this 5 by 2 uh, this was s power 7 by 2 okay so s power 7 by 2 okay so you can write this as s power 3 by 2 plus 4 by 2 is it clear s power 3 by 2 i am taking common so i will be left with s power 3 by 2 into s square so just what will happen 1 upon s square will be left and minus the remaining terms okay so laplace of sine root t is coming out to be equal to root pi divided by 2 s power 3 by 2 1 minus okay uh, 1 upon 4s okay plus uh, 1 upon 32 into 1 upon s square minus so if you look at the expansion of e power minus x that is 1 minus x plus x square upon 2 factorial minus x cube upon 3 factorial plus x power 4 upon 4 factorial minus so on so you have got 1 you have got minus x okay now here it will be x square okay so x uh, if you replace by if you replace uh, x as i can see is 1 upon 4s so e power minus 1 by 4s if you write so that will be 1 minus 1 by 4s plus this will be 1 upon 4s square so 1 upon 16s square and into this 2 so 1 upon 32s square and I am not bothered about uh, other terms because I am not writing that so this 3 terms you see 1 minus 1 upon 4s plus 1 upon 32s square so that means this is the expansion of e power minus 1 by 4s. So, this bracket will give me Laplace of sine root t is equal to root pi by 2s power 3 by 2. And this bracket is nothing but e power minus 1 by 4s. So, we did the first part of the question which was asking us to find the Laplace transform of sine root t. Now, for sine, uh, for cos root t by 2 root t, what I will do, that I know that Laplace of derivative, that means Laplace of f dash t, if I need to find, that is equal to s Laplace of f of t. Okay minus f of 0 that's a simple thing so laplace of f dash t is nothing but d by dt of uh, this you do for sine root t that is a function of t in this case so this will come out to be equal to s k into laplace of f of t 
सो लप्लास ऑफ एफ ऑफ टी सो फंक्शन ऑफ टी लप्लास इज कमिंग आउट टू बी राइट दिस हैज लप्लास ऑफ साइन रूट टी टू बी क्लियर माइनस एफ ऑफ जीरो सो वट इज योर एफ ऑफ टी एफ ऑफ टी इज साइन रूट टी सो इफ यू फाइंड एफ ऑफ जीरो दिस विल कम आउट टू बी साइन रूट जीरो विच इज नथिंग बट जीरो सो हेयर यू विल गेट जीरो सो लप्लास ऑफ डी बाई डी टी ऑफ साइन रूट टी वट इज दैट डेरिवेटिव ऑफ साइन रूट टी डेरिवेटिव ऑफ साइन इज कॉस रूट टी देन यू विल गो इन साइड डेरिवेटिव ऑफ रूट टी इज वन अपॉन टू रूट टी सो दिस इज इक्वल टू एस इन टू लप्लास ऑफ साइन रूट टी वी फाउंड नाउ वट इज दैट रूट पाई divided by 2s power 3 by 2 into e power minus 1 by 4s leave that zero now what you can do is just do some simplification root pi this 2 i am writing here this is uh, s power 1 plus 1 by 2 e power minus 1 by 4s now i can write this as s by 2 this as root pi i can take s out and s power half out e power minus 1 by 4s now this s and s getting cancelled so i am left with 1 by 2 and this i can collectively write as pi by s okay because this is root s only and e power minus 1 by 4s so this is my final answer which i needed to find that was laplace of cos root t divided by 2 root t which came out to be 1 by 2 under root pi by s e power minus 1 by 4s so let's look at this uh, once again this was a pretty pretty simple question but a lengthy one expansion of sin x expansion of sin root t using up uh, the idea of laplace transform we know that uh, laplace of t raised to power n is this then the basic properties of gamma functions then we expanded use the properties of gamma function use the uh, idea of factorials use uh, everything we can do then the expansion of e power minus x two expansions used in this question sin x and e power minus x move forward then this uh, laplace of derivatives and then we finally got to our solution i hope you like the videos thanks and have a nice day